for Jamie Benn. He kind of sums this up for his team, and not just once or twice, making an odd number three times right there. He'll give it to Blasik. A vice to Pavelski, who scores, and Joe Thor Don't want to bother going to the bench. He said, just drop it, let's go. He's just holding the bottom part of the back of the net, but it's okay. 4-0 four nil, four, four nil Boston, and you can see Deming with a little hissy fit. Calculate Chicago Wolves. Mm, uh, that's the, the, yep, that's the reaction that, that's the one that I would give as well. You get your stick up, Shaw's not happy. As he destroys that stick in the box, you see the frustration. You're battling, you're trying to extend plays. It looked like it was getting away. He's going to get back. He's just going to push this ahead. And Alex Tuck will receive the pass and put it into the open. That created confusion for Justin Schultz. Tries to reach it, can't control the rebound. What a nice play by Kyle Turris to throw that one back out to Fiala, and there's Anders Nilsson. The road teams have done the job in the first four. Not very well. 23 seconds after the Montour. will be coming in. Mike Smith is furious. Breaks his goalie's stick. He thinks of that. The snap show is on. The Flames tender pretty upset as Calgary men. But the Sharks came back and tied it up in the dying, and I mean dying, seconds of the second period on Tierney's goal. Crosby breaks his thing on the crossbar in frustration. It remains 2 0 Flyers as the horn sounds. Hard on the same man, and Taylor Hall with a good backhand move as Halak's caught moving from left to right, and you can see an upset. And what a shot. And again, hardly a chance for Pecorine. And there's what he's going through. Good job by both those players, and then eventually, Kreider just throws it at the net. And then there you see how the three won. And Milan Lucic's not happy at all. Right to the front, good soft hands as he deflects it in to make it a 6-3 game, and there's kind of the way. Certainly not too pleased, you can see he takes it out on his stick. He's not done, hang on, there. And we've- Give away to Brady Kachuk, Kachuk makes a move, scores! Puck coughed up, seconds later, Brady Kachuk makes it one. And New Jersey becomes only the third team in 23 games. This is a Mike Smith is bashing his stick against the goalpost. The best. Well, Mike Smith obviously not very happy with the fact that he gave up that goal. Stick explodes on him. Oh! He scores <laughs> in the back of the net. The Sabres score. Lankinen. Oh, I know Kempe has the power play goal for tonight's game. And there's Arvidsson continues the argument. He felt the foul was from behind. And he wants the, the penalty shot, of course. He marks him with tie Beaky Kaprasov's record for shutouts, too, because wow. you get credit for a shutout if you go regulation and overtime and don't give up a goal. It was Haas that went in there, stole the first time, and then Shea the second time, and finds Archibald, who made his way back to the slot, gets it off the stick in a hurry, getting his skate. A guy that has been on a bit of a roll, and they, everyone here is thrilled that he has found his game a little bit, but tonight... Patrick Marlowe back from Couture's goal! First Thornton, now Marlowe, and isn't that fitting for San Jose on this night? The goaltending change, I believe we are, as the backup goaltender, Vili Husso, is getting set. He's not seated on the bench. There's not enough room on the visitor's bench here at SAP Center for the backup goaltender. So Vili Husso in the tunnel oh, here we is go. coming back out. Now Bennington getting after it with Dubnik. As Dubnik and Bennington come together on Bennington's way. Blasted back in on goal, they score! A sneaky shot from center fools David Riddick for Riddick. Although I'm not a fan of this move right here, 
He's disappointed with himself. Come to the bench and have that type of reaction. You know what? I've seen guys snap. I've snapped, no question about it. But I got to tell you, I have not seen that in 19 years. The guys I played with. But I got after watching the Edmonton Oilers, how they responded to it. Zucker, Zucker on the backhand, scores! And if you play it long enough, this, you're going to have one of these, or two of these, or in some guy's case. Find the dot. And it is a three-goal flood in St. Louis. After that, that leads to the goaltending change. Look at Gary Price. That is a stare down at his team. That is a challenge to his team. You may see a goaltending change as a result of this goal. Three quick goals here by the Blues against Subban. Goal goes in, and he goes back to the bench. And here he is chirping at the coach, going after him. A little bit hot afterwards. Oh, no more waves, no more waves going on. After allowing nine goals on 26 shots, Waugh was finally replaced midway through the second period. As he made his way to the bench, Waugh brushed past his head coach, Mario Tremblay. He then confronted team president, Ronald Corey, with the message that he would never play for Montreal again. In this game, Jake blends with him and unable to make that save off the break. going to make himself big. Rich shot, score! Through the five hole, it's 4-0 Vancouver. Jace Hourlock. Here's Stafford getting on the pop. Drew Stafford backhander. Follow up driver to score! It's Kevin Rooney! Now, just off the end of his stick. Riley Shane. Archibald Shack scores! You're damn hot! Oh, they're going to the bench. He said, just drop it, let's go. He's just holding the bottom part of the paddle. Looks to bring it. His shot, he scores! The Hawks pour it on. Turris shoots, Nielsen the save, Turris again, puts one in front, and Fiala scores! With the way this game is going, Tomahawks' is stick across the crossbar, and then fires the... Lights his way loose in front, Kunitz, Deeks, great save by Vasilevsky. Another shot, they score! Chris Kunitz! The magic of Sullivan works. Gave his bench a little trouble, and then this one here surely gets rid of a couple hundred dollar stick. Out of the penalty box comes Sutter, offside against the Canadians, and now Hextall goes barreling out at one of the Canadians, Chris hitting Jellios. high and hard. With a shot into the shin pads of Morris, it's loose in front, swiping out of Cogliano, raised their rebound. Galov throws his stick in frustration. And he nearly hits the official. He almost took the official's head off. And it'll be interesting to see what he does here. Reaches the back of the net, but it's okay. 4-0 four nil, four nil Boston. Penalty shot on the great Patrick Wachalanus. He scores! Now Patrick throws his stick. Oh, he's upset. He's, he's out, out of the game. He's out of here. What a great goal. Chris Colano. Miller for the penalty on that. Good luck. He it's a hat trick for Matt Pumple, and it's a power play goal. To find Gensel behind the net, Malkin tried to stuff it in, and he keeps working, and he scores. And now Ward punches Hornquist in front of the net. He's had enough. Okay, but St. Louis still comes back hard. They still try to collapse down low to take out. Look at this. Look at this. A oh, little move. Gretzky reaches. Now you go to the center ice. You can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the race. He works it to Soshnikov behind the goal. Checked by Hutton. Stetcher frees up the puck for Berchi, and oh there's going to be a penalty here. Martin's going after and Stetcher, and there. Ryan Miller jumps Matt Martin. Martin went after Troy Stetcher. Now we got another fight. As Carrick has been tackled by Brendan Gaunt. Both goalies are into it. Coming all the way down the ice was Frederick Anderson. And he's going after Ryan. And in doing such, the referee doesn't see it. And they blow this right by him. You know, and, he, and losing his temper. Referee, and I don't blame him. This is the key part of the game. Marty seeing the guy runs me over. And, and Marty wouldn't do this. He's not complaining about the goal. 
but I didn't see it. But it's the referee's job to watch the contact. And Marty just slashing his stick. I'm telling you. And good for him. It was the end of a end of a shift. And Lundquist wanted a whistle and didn't get it, so he does this. And that's a penalty. That's a delay of game penalty. By cross, Postal in. Pass in there with Alfredson going to the net. Zavitter shoots. By Lundquist. And the quick whistle. I think Lundquist was upset. He well, wanted to keep the play no, alive. He should. He should be. There was no one near him. He bobbled it. And again, the the important. Here's it off to the right side. Jones charges in. Jones trying to go to the net. It's a backhand away. And then he trucks into Sparks, who's just feeding him blockers now. And that's going to bring everybody in. Sparks back on his feet. Chisholm's tackled to the ice. Luoto's. Через скидку Стасюк. Стасюк вошел. Передача на свободную. И вот она. Вот она. Влетает в ворота. Разыграно это большинство. И полетела клюшка. Так из могилов и Стасюк у шайбы Ахметова. И вот оно долгожданное событие для Куагера. 1-1. Теперь кто-то должен вместо Владимира Крамаря. Я думаю, что сейчас еще раз клюшечка поедет. И вот так вот, да, правильно. Во всем виновата, конечно же, не клюшка и не инвентарь. Но, в общем, вот они эмоции. Well, the fans could save. Yeah, you got a wee tip on that shirt and put it past his post there. And Rutherford then battling again. And I think he got speared there. Oh, it's furious. I think there was a spear on Owen there by the looks of it room for the Steelers to break into here comes Armstrong shields the puck oh and he's barreled over the top there's a penalty and there's a goal it'll stand Smith points to the net and Stewart is livid again it's Armstrong going straight for goal and the Steelers fans love this and they love Brian Stewart's reaction he tries to jam it in and you can see the puck come loose the follow up from Freta and Brian Stewart is having another one of those nights here at the Sheffield Arena with the MK coach Pete Russell as well. Beekman <laughs> petulantly moves the goal away. The puck to himself, picks up the self-pass, cross crease, and they're playing the playground game as Model was down, Kirby was up, and Thomas flipped Kirby right over Model. Here's a look, there's Dell. 
And that is, that's her shoulder to the head by Dell. Oh my, here is uh, here is David Booth. You know what, I do agree with you, but I just, oh, here's, here's a nice hip check by Hedberg. Leo Boyvin would be impressed, but the referee Don Van Massenhoven is not, it's a trip. Got away, it's a race for the puck. Coming out of his head is Dell. Dell's got Tolman and they collide along the boards. It's still up for grabs and sent back to center. Dangerous play. Now the chase is on on the other side, and a penalty call is coming up. Yep. Dell's going to the box there. He there he made contact. You can see Tolvin and goes over and has a few words. Over six and a half played in the third period. Giveaway around in front. Oh, it's nice drop of Thomas, who sends the man flying. Oh, the blow <laughs> Well, Stone didn't appreciate Dell getting the stick in on him. He went crashing. Matt Niskanen. The fans like that. There hasn't been an awful lot to cheer about. Here comes Brett Connolly bumped into the goaltender. And Frederick Anderson gets back in. No call either way. Is this Aaron Dell? See, that's in her. Oh, no. Oh. That's the left that's leg. That's his left knee. This year with a nagging ankle injury. Well, it was Ward that made the block because Kostitsin had... Thomas had knocks down Andre Kostitsin! And now the Donnybrook is on! Yep. Game, as Locker mentions, at 6 minutes and 45 seconds with which to work in period 2. Moen storming to the goal as the puck dribbles wide. The net is off of its moorings. Watch him come right out on Travis Moen who's doing the net drive. Look at that shot! He got two guys on one shot. Way to go, Braden. No penalty on the play. He nails Hillen in Travis. Haynes. On the board. Kreider has just come on. Oh, Kreider was hit by Price. I don't know. It'll be set to head. And Brooklyn Gray is going to put the finishing touches on an Ottawa win. And series win. And Morgan Riley takes exception to that. And the battle of Ontario. Yeah, Rats was going to bang the post. See, he was not going to slash Chris Versteeg. Well, there's Kasseri telling Lucic to go back to the bench. Yeah, it's got to be somebody, somebody on the, the ice. ice. Somebody exactly. on the ice. That's the... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this one will be. Oh, no. Oh. Over to see if, if uh, who is it? I can't even see the number. Was it Gabrick? Oh yeah. Okay. Hushik went over to see if he's okay, but get his head down. If you're a goalie, what are you supposed to do? Come on. That would definitely be a penalty in anybody's books. And punching in the head is usually yeah, roughing. It usually it's roughing. Pavelski, yeah, the snow shower, but then tries to avoid Howard. Howard with the. The double punch with the blocker and the glove, not once but twice from the Rambus net. Cam, let's see what the... I think we're going to get two penalties. One to Pavelski. Now watch Crawford. Now look at him. Now he turns right to him. He started talking. Quick goes, what? What? And they just bump right into each other. Classic stuff. The classic goaltender confrontation. Look at that. You saw the deflection. Look at the hands. What are you doing? I want to play. The tough deflection. Boys made a good play on it. That yep. play was a scoring chance. If you've ever had a scoring chance, around the board. And we've got another penalty coming up. Slashing's the call, pardon me. It's Ray Emery. His, it goal is. Ten, his goalie stick is broken. This started about a minute ago. And so here it is. Now toward the goal. He scores! His first National Hockey League goal in his hometown. Can you script it any better? Denied. Elvis Merzlikens coming out, makes the save. Oh, he's got to be careful. He's going to get an interference. Uh-oh. Elvis has gone crazy. Yes, he is. He would not let the capital play it's out. It's Tom Wilson. They had it going all night, and Wilson ended up in the back of the net. And then he dumps one. Out of the air by Caulfield. Primer, oh, and then gets bumped, wanted to play it. You got to go on one by Caulfield the other way. May have to be a guy from the ice for Reimer, I think. Detroit penalty number 47 minus, two minute minor for holding the stick. Right. So someone from the ice has to serve it who was on the ice. Yeah. Had to move the puck and never really had hold of it. 
But as he was trying to... You gotta make the call. He's got the mullet going. This is old time. Old time hockey, Bobby. This is old school right <laughs> oh, here. This guy. Beck got it through, they score! He found Hartman! And the Blues, Bennington and coming after him! Hartman Hart skated through Bennington's area and clipped him on the way by in celebration. Flurry's and over there, come all the way down to drop oh, the gloves, my. but the linesman has a hold of Bennington. Oh, let him go! They've been going at each other on and off all night, and Zach Cassian is incensed. And right on cue as we talked about the Battle of Alberta, and here these two go out of the and Cassian's just throwing all of them. Inside, Tim Talbot reaches back, and that is whistled down, and nobody is happy now. It's in came Gagne with a late poke, and look out as Talbot is into it, and he wants a piece of somebody back there. And Smith.